Be the creator, not the consumer. This is Angus. In my last video, we talked about how to buy from Alibaba.com. You may get a little bit of information about it, but I'm not sure if I explained myself very well. Uh, and uh, during a lot of it, you know, confusion, my spoken English, everything. So I want to have a conclusion today, okay? In my last video, we talked about how to source the products, how to search the suppliers and how to verify the suppliers, how to talk with suppliers, if you can get a sample, uh, if you can, you know, have as more uh, as much information as you can with the suppliers, okay? So today, all I need to do, all I want to do is to have a simplest list of the secrets of buying from Alibaba for you guys. So you all know very clearly that when you're buying from Alibaba.com, what you need to do and what you need to bear in mind, okay? So the first thing, the first thing, it will be, you, you need to have a short list of suppliers, no matter how we source the products, how we search the suppliers, how we talk with them, how, how we verify them, or how we talk with them, you need to have a short list of suppliers, okay? Why do you need to do that? I will explain to you. First, so the first thing is that we need to have a short list of suppliers, okay? Suppliers. We need to find the right supplier, not the instead of the biggest supplier, okay? After you verify them, after you talk with them, you will have your own conclusion that who will be the right, right supplier for you, who will be the most reliable supplier for you, who will be the one to support you in your coming years business, okay? So when you have a short list of suppliers, you will know that uh, you know what kind of quality they're offering, what kind of price they're offering, what kind of MOQ they're offering, and how they will help you on the private label. If they can accept you on 100 pieces or 200 pieces, that will be a uh, very important. Okay. So after you have a short list of suppliers, a couple of them you will know very well that uh, maybe uh, among five, who will be the one you will choose. Okay. So the first thing, have a short list of suppliers, okay? The second thing, when we talk about buying, we always kind of concerning about the payment term, okay? How we, if, how, how we need to pay the suppliers. For you guys, for you uh, new beginners, my suggestion is that always request the suppliers if they can use the PayPal only. Okay, why do we need to do this? Because you're new to this business. You did, you did not visit China before, you did not buy uh, from online overseas before. So if you use PayPal, that means you, you have PayPal uh, back you up. If you, have something, if you have something wrong or uh, from the suppliers, you can always claim the refund from the PayPal, okay? Don't pay all those funds by Western, Western Union when you are first dealing with the supplier, okay? Of course you can do that if you know them very well, if you trust them very well, okay? And uh, most of the customers I'm dealing with that, uh, you know, very first time that if they're buying a uh, some samples or a small order like uh, less than $1,000, they're paying me uh, well, uh, Western Union, okay? But f f here I suggest you guys, because you're new beginners, you request them to pay them by PayPal, okay? Um, normally, uh, if more than, if less than $1,000, it's very reasonable that to pay them by PayPal, if the suppliers, if they, if, if they do not uh, offer you this, okay, just leave them, leave it away, okay? You, 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 you can, uh, at any any time, you can decide that if you you will give them order or not. Okay, so the the first time business to be as cautious as you can. Okay, using PayPal only. So, uh, after you know more about uh, more and more about the buying from China or Alibaba.com, so you can try some other payment term, Western Union, or after a couple of times dealing with the supplier, Western Union, because it's very quick and not too much of the handling fee. Uh, or by bank charges as a supplier wishes, okay? The third thing, 
The third thing is that I hope that you can act as professional as you can. Why do we need to do this? And I, I think you guys, some of you, uh, you, you already watched a lot of videos online uh, or in Facebook uh, Facebook group that uh, they teach you that uh, we need to act as professional as you can because uh, some of the suppliers, maybe you fund them, they are real factories, so they don't really consider you as a promising client. That means they don't want to share the time with you guys because uh, they already got some orders of their, they got a lot of orders. If you just want to buy 100 pieces or 20 pieces, they don't want to do that. So if you can act as professional as you can, that means the suppliers know, okay, that your business is promising, that uh, uh, you know, finally you will give them a promising order, 1,000 pieces, $10,000 or something like that, okay? Act, acting, as professional as you can, okay? Acting, uh, so how how can we act as professional as you can? My suggestion is that uh, you can write, a, write an official email to the supplier or when you send in the first message to the supplier, you can introduce, in, intro, introduce yourself very well that where you are from, who you are, and what is your position in the company, and uh, what are you up to do, what, what, is, what kind of main business you are into, and what, what is your plan, uh, how do you plan to do with this product. Um, maybe it, it, it's all about this, and uh, you talk with them that you want to have a very good relationship with them, so uh, a little bit more about your company, how many years of your company is a very huge important and also uh, tell them that uh, what is your experience buying from China you know maybe just give them a couple of numbers that you come you come to China twice a year or you you you, you you've already bought from China uh, 10 times or something uh, so in this case the suppliers they want to know okay this client maybe they are real and they really want to buy from me so they will give you price uh, cautiously, they will quote you uh, quickly, they will give you re response timely. So acting as professional as you can, okay? The fourth thing is that you need to start from small. As you're just beginning the business online, okay? You want to buy from China, you want to try this, if you can make the profit, all you need to do is that you want to start, okay? So you start from small. Why you need to start from small? Uh, excuse me, I will explain you. Start, starting from small. Because in the very beginning, you do not know the market very well, you do not know the product very well, and you even you do not know the procedures very well. So you need to start from small, okay? If you can buy 100 pieces, do not buy 200 pieces, okay? Uh, I Recently, I just have a customer that consulted me about the shipping fee uh, from China to US to the Amazon warehouse, okay? He kind of bought around 500 pieces. Uh, it turns out that 500 pieces is around uh, more than two CBM, but the weight is more than, uh, it's around 300 kilograms. So actually it's pretty much, if it is, uh, if uh, if he choose shipping by air, that it will be more than 10,000 RMB. So it is a huge cost. Uh, but actually he can talk with the supplier in the very beginning that uh, he just wants to try the product. If it can work out, he will replace the order. He will reorder the products a lot of quantities. So in the very beginning, he can actually buy 200, 200 pieces. Now he's facing the big problem that uh, if he if he needs to invest a lot on the shipping cost, as you know that the products is not a uh, one CBM. If it is uh, shipping by sea, it will be not worthwhile. It is worthwhile, but you know you will take a lot of time to shipping by sea. But if you're shipping by air, that will be a huge cost. You will 
add a lot of cost on a product. I'm not sure if he can uh, make the profit back. So start from small, start as small as you can. That that will help you to know the procedures, know the products if it, it can work out. Okay. So this will be the fourth thing. The fifth thing is about you need to know about the quality. Okay. As I mentioned that uh, in the last video, always get a sample. Always get a sample. Also, this connects with the first thing as I mentioned that uh, we need to find the right supplier instead of the biggest supplier. Okay. Sometimes, uh, you know, I have some uh, experience with uh, our customers. Sometimes they want to buy from China and they know that uh, chi China, uh, a couple of years ago, like one, two decades ago, that we were uh, called that uh, we're the word factory, word factory, okay? So in their think, in their thought, in their mind that they believe that China always produces the most cheapest, the cheapest items. So when they're talking with the suppliers, they're always bargaining, bargaining the price. They want to get the, you know, the, the, the last price, okay? But at last, when the supplier sends the products to them, when they receive the products from suppliers, they find out that this product's quality is not as the same as described on the interlight, okay? So that will be the problem. Because you, uh, you talked, you, you bargained too much on the price, but the supplier, actually some of the factory, they got around 10% profit, some of them, they are not. And if you did not find a factory, if you're working with the trading company, some of them, they will have uh, like three or 5% of the profit. They cannot survive if you, you know, pushing too much on the price. So always get a sample, always get a reasonable price instead of the last price. There is no last price in the world, okay? In China, as we talked before, that there are a lot of factories, so they can actually uh, duplicate whatever the products, the appearance, basically they are the same, but the function, the quality will, to will be totally different. So get a sample, we are buying from Alibaba or we are actually buying from China, get a sample to confirm the product's quality, if it is the same. So even it's like this, as I stressed a lot of times so that get a reasonable quality instead of the last quote, okay? A reasonable price so that you can make money and also the supplier, they can make some of the money, okay? And also we are buying from Alibaba. Um, we know that Alibaba actually, they got a, uh, a app of there. Maybe you can download the app, uh, download, download the, down, load the Alibaba app because I think this will also help you because you're in uh, international business. Uh, you can sometimes connect with the suppliers by the app. So uh, you can always connect with them after uh, the suppliers send you a message. You can reply them very well. Uh, that's the same thing because uh, we always supplier customers always request that we need to uh, suppliers need to re respond very quickly. Uh, if if you guys if uh, uh, acting as a customer, you have the Alibaba app. Uh, it will be also very convenient to know more about the products, to know more about uh, suppliers, to get a message uh, as quick as you can. So basically, those are the six, you know, six um, secrets of buying from Alibaba. You can. Uh, do as I listed here. Uh, I definitely, if you do as this, it will help you um, achieve the first buying on Alibaba successfully and smoothly. Okay, that will be all for today. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below, and uh, uh, I will check and I will reply as soon as possible. And I will also uh, keep it up and making more videos. Okay, once more, this is Angus. Next year, I'm follow. Do what you want to do. Spread the words. Thanks.